Today, we're going to explore some awesome techniques you can use to find valuable information on images, such as extracting their metadata, to see if we can find GPS coordinates of the exact location where the image was taken, or determine the device that was used to capture the photo. Then we'll cover how to perform a re reverse image search, a clever method to discover similar photos on the web, to learn more about them. Additionally, we'll also explore a cool tool that utilizes facial recognition to search for photos of a specific person across the web. Now you might be wondering that as a hacker, what can we do with the information obtained from an image? Well the answer is a lot. For example if you were about to hack me, and somehow acquired a photo that I took using my Android device, you could extract its metadata, and then use the information you got to perform social engineering attacks on me, or maybe explore some potential vulnerabilities of the device that I used to take the photo. Now this process of gathering publicly available information on a target is known as open source intelligence or OSINT in the hacking community, and what we'll be covering in this video is solely focused on image OSINT, meaning that we'll only be discussing how to gather information from an image. So let's get started. Disclaimer. While gathering publicly available information is legal, you can still get in trouble real quick if you use the gathered information to launch hacking attacks or engage in other activities with ill intent. Conducting an OSINT investigation demands ethical behavior and responsibility to ensure it is carried out within the boundaries of the law and with respect for privacy and security. Number 1. Extracting metadata. Okay, so I have an image file right here in my documents folder, and we're gonna go ahead and extract its metadata to see what we can learn about it beyond what we can see visually. For this, we'll be utilizing two different tools. The first one is a command line tool called EXIF2, which comes pre-installed on Kali Linux, and is a powerful utility for working with image metadata within the terminal. The second one is a website that allows us to both upload and strip information from an image, in case we want to send the file to someone or upload it online. Now if you're using a different Linux distribution, and don't have the EXIF tool already installed, simply type apt install EXIF2 in your terminal, and it will be installed for you. But anyway once installed, if we open up its manual page by typing in EXIF2-help, you can see that there are a lot of different commands that we can run with this. But as we are just looking to extract the metadata from our image, a simple way to do it is by using the PR syntax here. So we type in EXIF2, space PR, and then drag the file into the terminal like this. And upon hitting enter, you can see that it pulled a decent amount of information from our image, such as the device model it was taken on, the length and width of the photo, and much more. So what does this mean? Should you be worried about your privacy before sending this photo out, or what does this really conclude? Well yes, if you were to upload this to popular social media platforms, such as Instagram or Twitter, you will be gifting these platforms with this information, however, they usually strip out and don't display this information to the general public. But if you were to directly email this photo to someone, or post it on a website like Imager, then the metadata could still be retained and unintentionally reveal more than you intended. Anyway so that that's how this works in the command line, but if you prefer not to work with the command line, you can still access all this information about various photos right through your browser. Now there are a lot of tools available on the internet for extracting metadata from images, but the one we're gonna use is called GIMPL. To use it, you just open it up, and then drag the image file here like this. Then just wait a few minutes for it to upload. And once uploaded, you can see that it pulled data in a nice GUI form, which makes it easy for us to see and make notes from. And if there are any GPS coordinates attached within the metadata of the photo, you can see them right here. Now if you were sending a photo to someone through email, or even uploading it online for example to Facebook, you can use this option of removing metadata to strip the EXIF data from your image. Number 2, Reverse Image Search. Moving on, imagine a scenario where your victim has uploaded a photograph of themselves next to a building or something without providing any specific information as to where they might be. To uncover this information, you can simply head over to images.google.com, click on search by image, and upload that photograph to initiate a reverse image search. By analyzing the visual characteristics of the image and comparing it to similar images across the web, Google may provide valuable information about where the photograph was taken, or other related details. Additionally, if you couldn't find anything using Google Images, you can also explore other tools available for conducting reverse image searches by searching for them on the internet. Reverse image search can also help you in finding the original source of an image, which can be very helpful during an OSINT investigation. Number 3, Facial Recognition. Now what if we could search for a person on the internet using their facial features? Well, there's actually a fantastic tool that makes this possible, called PimEyes. To use it, just click on Upload Photo right here, and then drag the image that you want to search for. Now you can also add more images of the person you are searching for to get better results by clicking on this plus button here, but for now, let's just do a default search. And once done, you can see that it pulled multiple websites of where this person's photo is posted. Now this tool does require you to pay for opening the websites that it searched for, but you can still get a pretty good idea on where this person is located on the web for free. So as far as image OSINT goes, this is it for today, as the purpose of this video was just to scratch the surface and introduce you to the concept of gathering information from an image. However, if you want me to make a detailed video on image OSINT, let me know in the comments section down below, and I will see you in the next one.